V diamond in the rough. I um wasn't going to show any cross stitch, beaded cross stitch. Um, but I have decided I actually will. Um, just the initial stages. Um, so yeah, uh, what you're seeing is <laughs> very, 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 very fine line of cotton. I've managed to thread the needle. I've got my glasses on. I have um, a ring light, which is really, really close that I can see. And just tying the knot on the end. So I am due for my nails to be done, which means they are almost too long to be doing this. Well, not almost, they are actually. Um, booked in for the nails to be done tomorrow. <laughs> now, the issue is not the nails, the issue is that I can't see the thread. <laughs> okay, get that over there and over there. So I have, dub have, have doubled over this um, thread. So, I don't know, knotted it a couple of times. Very, very fine. Even with the two threads, it's hard to actually see. Okay. It's not much of a knot. And I'm going to, it is a knot though. Hopefully, that's going to be sufficient doesn't look like enough of a knot. <sighs> Golly gosh. Am I allowed to swear? Who knows? I'm going to be trying this anyway. <sighs> a knot on a knot. that initial knot I need to get it down to where that knot is which is down there ah <sighs> okay that's a better knot I've got two knots there I'm just going to cut the second one out a bit or not. Okay, so the thread is really, really super fine, and so are the um, beads. I have done a little test of picking these up to work with them. I do have a bead grabber coming, so that'll be really cool. Um, but just going to pause you there because I'm just going to go over um, Lovecraft Forever and I will actually link her beaded cross stitch up here so you can uh, check it out but I'm using hers to um, get the starting point and um, so that I can get this starting point going well. Now, I'm just gonna move this over so you can see it. So this is not a full cross beaded cross stitch, so this is only partial. So um, I'm gonna work in rows from the bottom, um, which is gonna be interesting in itself. I'm gonna try in rows and see how that goes. If this bottom section here, um, works out okay doing rows I will continue to do rows um, if not I may end up going to specific coloured beads first um, so yeah just going to pause you here and um, get back to you once I've seen a little bit more of uh, Nat in uh, Lovecraft forever okay I am going to zoom you further bring the camera down 
zoom in further. Now her first step is to find your first point for your stitch to go in. And oh, that knot's good. So that's in. There we go. That's probably, how's that? Hopefully that's a bit better. Back in a second. Okay, so from here, oops. I'm trying to get this needle because I can't see where it is. <laughs> this is going to be a fun project. Okay, so I've got my needle. I'm just going to pick up a bead. Now, my best way of picking up a bead <laughs> is to actually stick the needle in and end up with the only the one see how tiny they are these are tiny 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 okay let's move that out of the way so i've got my bead oops sorry guys i do have the camera really close so that you can see i've got my bead and across to the other side Okay, so that's the first bead on. However, what I need to do is come back on the same on the where I first my first needle went in the first time. Okay, and the recommendation is to get the thread in two. Um, and I'm going to place the needle. Okay, hang on. So I've separated the thread. <laughs> Maybe I, ha I have separated the thread. <laughs> but where is it? Okay, radio. Just trying to get this. That's better. Okay, so separate the thread. I'm going to put my needle back down. On the other side where where the bead came at where the thread came out so instead I'm not going through I'm gonna over so I'll pull that needle down right now I'm gonna actually separate those two make sure they are separate but I'm using the tweezers to make sure they're separate and on either side of that bead so that when I pull this stitch down this is only a starting point okay so I'm just going to pull the some of the thread down to try and help there we go because I don't okay. okay so there's the thread going in and there's the thread okay I don't know if this explains it not well but what I need to do is get one piece of thread one side one piece of thread the other side of the bead okay which those tweezers are going to hold it and now I'm going to continue to pull this thread down so that I end up with thread either side which will help hold that firm so let's see does that so that's holding that quite firm that's pretty good and then start at the next point and I've actually got the dot there so I can see that now you want to keep all your beads going the right direction stab and grab <laughs> there we go got one had all the beads in the right in the one direction so I'm going from bottom right to top left just drop that bead down and to try and keep these in line I'm instead of going down and lifting up I'm going to go through and a I'm going to go down this way. Okay, let's go. 
gotta go over there. <laughs> over there and come out that side. Okay. Rightio. And pull that. Make sure that that thread is on the other side of that first bead. And righty out. Just need to make sure that first one is tight, which is not that tight. But there we go. Two beads. Let's go for a third one. So <laughs> that's the easiest way I can see to pick them up. And I've got one stuck to my nail. Okay. And yep, let's drop down and down. And that bead's there. Okay, so I've got two, three beads in. I'm thinking I actually might work with just these, this one colour. Okay, I'm going to move the camera a bit. Okay, so what I'm going to work with, I had just changed my mind. I am going to work with just the green on this. No, I'm not. No, I will continue. I will. Con I'll do it by row. Okay. It's all about working out for your own way of doing it, isn't it? It is still the same colour anyway. out of it now okay <laughs> these beads are just so tiny uh, yeah this is definitely one I'm gonna I think I'm gonna is gonna be a couch one okay And down. And down. Okay, so that's that colour. And uh, now I'm on to Three, seven, yeah, three, seven, three, four, two. Making sure. Okay, yep, that is that colour. There we go. My um, hand-eye coordination, like I struggle to see, um, I have trouble with distances, so <laughs> these ones are slightly easier. I can see the holes in these. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's still not easier. <laughs> Um, yeah, I have, I can, I have, oh, is it poor hand-eye coordination? Not quite. It's more, um, I can't judge distances, which gives me a struggle. 
um, even with glasses on like I have to wear glasses to hang my clothes out otherwise I see two clothes lines um, <laughs> which is quite amusing yeah okay in and across down not across down oh God. um bead mat I do have a bead mat do, do, do. Where is my bead mat? One moment will I find my bead mat. Oops. Okay, got my bead mat. What I'm going to do is just put a, a spoonful of the, what's the green crystals, the green beads. And a little spoonful of these pearlescent greys. I will have other ones that I need to work with, but um, these are the two colours I've got at the moment. See how that works. Should work a bit better. Um, hang on, what I might do. So for those that wanted to know the comparison in size for these, there's a square drill. And that's a bead, that that's that's the beads. So these are the tiny these are tiny, tiny, tiny beads. So you can see the comparison in the size. The square drill is actually bigger. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I reckon I've seen other people do them and they've had the bigger beads. <laughs> uh, but, okay, yes, bead mat, much better. Make sure you have a bead mat. There we go. Question is, while I pick this up, is it going to... Now I know I can definitely be able to do this on a couch if I have the bead mat. Okay, just going to move me because you can't, whoops, how's that, you move me, there we go, I'm not much of a person to focus on, not on doing this. <laughs> oh, okay. So, might as well do a bit of a chat. Not much of a chat, but do a bit of a chat while I'm doing this. Um, so, yeah, I've been doing a fortnightly vlog, which I actually enjoy, but I need to make sure I cut them down shorter. Oops. Oh, come on, be nice to me. It's not me being nice to me. It's me getting it in the right spot. Um, they are all in the same way, but they're not quite looking tight. Oh, well. Um, yeah, the weekly, my fortnightly vlog, um, I'm enjoying doing that. I just need to cut it down. Um, to just what I've achieved at that point um, and start doing a bit more in the way of whipping chats I think um, yeah because those fortnightly vlogs are more about what I've achieved at each point um, and whipping chats should be more about what I'm doing what's happening and then that means my weekly, my fortnightly vlogs are not going to be as big. Um, so yeah, so what's going on? Whoops. <laughs> Let's get knotted, shall we? <laughs> Tweezers I think are going to come in 
very handy to try and sort out knotting maybe there we go um so yeah today oh yeah okay. they do look good sitting like that what do you think um so today 25th of July Thursday I um I'm actually supposed to be at work I will admit this right now I am supposed to be at work um I <laughs> I ate something I shouldn't have um and it and I should have known last night I should well I should have known altogether um last night though Nathan um after dinner <laughs> Within half an hour, he started belching. And I should have realised that that meant that it was probably not going to agree with me either. I love their kebabs. This cut, Where I get these kebabs from, I love their kebabs. They've got, got it right for me. Um, they, But sometimes they agree with me and sometimes they don't. And if they don't agree with Nathan, um, it tends to be that they don't agree with me. But with Nathan, it was just, God, all burping. Interesting conversation, this. But it was all burping. Um, however, with me, it's, um, it didn't affect me until I digested it. Um, which means, <laughs> on the way to work, my stomach went, nah. <laughs> My stomach was just not happy. So, um, I was actually just before the turn off to get into where I park my car. And it's like, no, nah, I'm not going to be able to work. Um, I needed to get home and be close to a bathroom. I did stop on the way home. <laughs> Service stations are good for that. Um, but yeah, so I've come home. Oh. And um, my stomach's settled at the moment. I've taken gastro stop, um, but that's going to wear off in the next probably hour. Oh gosh. I'm liking the look of this. It's going to be nicer. The. Um, Oops, <laughs> that one went flying. Um, it is going to be the section up the top with the trees. Actually, what I might do, let's see if I can add it. Let's see if I can add the image. Um, Hmm, don't like that picture. Oh, that one will do. Okay. I'll put this up in the top right. So that's it there. Um, if you can see that, so it's a real winter scene. So yeah, I'm at home, um, not actually feeling that flash hot, but I'm not going to lie in bed while I'm like this, because I'm just going to be getting up and out of bed. Oh golly gosh, come on, I need to get this point, I can't see it. There we go. Uh, this thread is so fine with knotting up. Okay, back to these ones. So yeah, um, it's just a case of a quiet day, just sitting, 
sitting at home. Um, Nathan was rather cheeky and he went, well, now that you're at home, you can cook tonight. Uh, he's not due home till 8 o'clock tonight. Um, so probably by about 3 o'clock this afternoon I will be, oh, golly gosh, good to, stomach should have fully settled by then. How's this for a disgusting... That's disgusting conversation. Okay, there we go. Um, what else? Oh, the... Victoria Moon's... Victoria's Moon uh, diamond painting is due for, due for delivery today. So... Later on, um, depending on when it arrives, actually, hang on, if I do that, um, that should, when that arrives, um, I'll be doing a live unboxing, so you should enjoy, enjoy that happening. Um, although that won't be until tonight and it'll probably be about the same time that Nathan gets home. Uh, okay. They're looking good. I could probably change that. Whoops, there goes my light. I keep knocking it over. Um, I might change that light uh, a little bit. Not that doesn't make much difference. I might <laughs> excuse me. I still need the light, but it's not so bad. Okay, so next move along to the next bit. Oh, I got that one straight in <laughs> straight in. Aim's getting better. <laughs> so the question is, I know I've got to keep the beads going the right way. Or the same way. Whoops. I just dropped my needle. So I need to keep the beads going the same way. Um, but I will go slightly different because I'm going back. So instead of <laughs> so instead of going um, bottom uh, so instead of going bottom to top I'll be going top to bottom but still keeping the beads going the same direction the bead mats definitely a um, well needed article. Hang on. There we go. How's that? Bitch it down there. And one more there. Oh, that one worked without me needing to hold the thread. Woohoo. So yeah, the Victoria's Moon diamond painting that I've got coming is a train line um, it is a pretty it's multicolored it's a lot of colors to it um, okay hang on here we go I just need to so what I do now is because I'm coming now I'm coming going that way I go top to bottom I can get the thread in the right spot there. There we go. So I've now gone, whoops, gone to the top. <laughs> there we go. Uh, 
and to the bottom and up to the <laughs> oh gosh I was thinking yeah this will be easier to the top You're not quite seeing what I'm doing there. I've gotten another knot, so. There we go, that's better. Another bead. There we go, I zoomed you out a bit. Okay. So yeah, the um, Victoria's Moon diamond painting is due to arrive today. Um, so these guys just I have a secure spot at the front of the door that they um, drop them off to so I oh, yeah, it was going to be a case of coming home and um, I would have been able to come home and get straight into it, <laughs> get straight into the unboxing um, so well I mean just aim to get it done before they can get so uh, that's the last one of the that colour there. Okay. I've ended up with a bloody big mess at the back here. <laughs> oh. At what point did this get knotted? It got knotted right at the beginning point. Okay. So I'm just going to see how we go there. Oh yeah, that's better. I've straightened that up. And I've been able to pull that through. Look at that. Not knotted at the back now. Um, that's that bead. I've still got one more to go here. Come on, sit nicely. There we go. Moving along to the next. Let's just get this, make sure this comes through without nodding up behind. To start having them joining up now. Yep. So now I've got to worry about beads on the top and beads below. Catching. Oops. 
Drop the needle while I have the bead in my fingers. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I'll, I'll do, the plan is to do a live unboxing of the Victoria's Moon diamond painting train line. Although it's a very pretty, um, it's not, I mean, <laughs> the trains that I deal with, they're travelling through red dust um, and heat. Um, this picture is actually quite a stunning picture. It's um, 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 it's got flowers blossoming. That was that's. I didn't do my normal way, did I? Didn't even think about it. Hang on. Is that why is that? Is that because? Oh, there's only the two colours there, that's why. Okay. Uh, across to the next one. Oops. Oops. At least when you've got something on top, you've got the markings there. There we go. That didn't nod on the back, so that's a change of colour. Glad I've done a part. This is a partial. I'm gonna have to stitch this onto a pillowcase. Um, but yeah, so the the train scene is quite pretty. Uh, the well, not train, but the train line. It's really pretty. Um, it's a sixty by seventy square, and with the DP a thon this weekend. I'm on between wrong bead. <laughs> Just saw that as I put it down. Um, I am on my time is actually seven p.m. to seven a.m. Um, which. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what time it is on the world clock. Um, but in most cases, I find a lot of the US people from 7 p.m. is generally about 7 a.m. or um, thereabouts. With the UK, I think it's about midnight for them. I'm not quite 100% sure. To move this bead mat, which is <laughs> stay on, stay on. I to move that across that way. <sighs> okay. Mm. So yeah, that's um, and I will do. I will use the Victoria's Moon um, diamond painting for the live. Um, the last time I did the DP a thon, I started a diamond painting and um, I thought I'd start another one on there. I mean, I've got, I do have other diamond paintings, but obviously with this one, this Victoria's Moon is a review one. So they're going to want that done pretty quickly. Um, to get real, to really see it. Come on. <laughs> I might bang the camera here. I just got to go in close. There we go. There we go. Got it. But I would, I'll see how my finger bead thing goes. If you don't have a finger bead, if you, um, but if you have a bead mat, um, the bead mat, as you can see, is actually working really well. Um, it's more about my, oh, <laughs> look at that, I just didn't do it, did I? Oh no, yeah, I did do it. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Um, it's probably suitable if I was only had a finger beat might be suitable for um, hang on. It sort of takes concentration this bit. Um, the finger bead will probably be good for if I've got anything need to pull out a couple of couple of colours. Right. Oh, that one went a bit high up. Uh, to do to do and that's the end of that colour. Into there. Radio and now on to the next line. Question is, how do I want to do it? Do I want to stop here? Oh, I've still got plenty of thread, um, but I'm going to go across that way and then back that way. I think. Oh no, I'll go across and do this, um, backwards and forwards, and then I'll come back and do, I might possibly do there to there and then that, so who knows how we go. So I'm still going up that one. I'm actually incorporating a couple of new colours, so here. Uh, this one first. Okay, now I've got the purple seven one O. I ain't got the one of that. Get up out of the container. Yep, got it. And um. Ready to tinge one, which oh gosh, uh, oh, with the blue around it, which one okay, which is this one, one, four, one. And because this one is actually clear, I'm going to be... Oh, I thought I was going to struggle to find the hole. <laughs> Got it. And that's down. down and up still because there we go yeah I might actually pop a couple of those on there oh and what's the other one the Four seven one zero. There. Um, <coughs> just gonna move me a sec. Uh, move me a sec. 
okay one color one color one color one color can you see that one <laughs> just can't mix them up okay so um that's that one look at that my hair's falling out uh, but yeah, this will be a nice one on the couch. So it's that one. Maybe. Um, but yeah, there we go. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me. <coughs> mm. 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 Um. So yeah, we've got the live on Sunday, but on Saturday, um, I'm off to Kevin Bloody Wilson, um, and he's got some really crude stuff, but um, he does it in such a way that it's... Well, I shouldn't say cr well. It is crude, but it's also political, politically incorrect, <laughs> to say the least. Um, that's that one. So, if you actually do look up Kevin Bloody Wilson on YouTube. To give you an example of what he's like, he's, he's got a stage daughter, although it's not his real daughter, it's his stage daughter. Um, her first name is Jenny. Okay, which isn't anything bad. Her last name <laughs> is Taylor. <laughs> so if you put those two together, what do you get? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I dropped a bead. There we go. Um, yeah. So if you put it together, you will see see that her name is rather interesting. That gives you an idea of what type of show we're going to. Um, but some of the things he sings um even just saying the titles um i mean his songs have been out for decades um i'm just trying to think of some titles that i can actually put on here um Um, there's a Santa Claus where's my effing bike really good Christmas song if you don't like your neighbours at Christmas time and they get easily offended you blow that one up full ball um, this one which okay which is that one um, yeah Santa Claus, where's my effing bike? He actually uses the four words though. <laughs> um, and then uh, another one, do you F on first dates? And the whole line is, one of the lines is, uh, do you F on first dates? Does your dad own a brewery? Um, one of the other lines is, if you don't, do you have a girlfriend that does or something like that? Okay, so this one I'm going, uh, it's going to go across, but that's just a little bit awkward, so I'm going to go, just get this one in. Um, do I go that one? Yeah, I'll go that one. Uh, 
I'm going to do is bring this closer to me and remove this mat ever so carefully. Okay, so let's see if I can get this spot. Nope, nope, nope. Yep. And it's the black one, which is this one. And the reason why I dropped a bead last time was because I've got some stuck to the top of the container. Four nine one oh two. Okay, just going to jostle you a bit there. There we go. <sighs> so. Down. And. Oh gosh. Down and. one which is that one so I'll just finish this little section this little bit here and then I'll get off actually no I'm going to leave that there I will say thank you for um, joining me on this little bit of a start up um, yeah this is kind of quite enjoyable now that I've kind of got the rhythm of it um, I don't know whether I'll I think I might just give some updates on this of as I'm going um, so yeah thank you for joining me and I'm actually going to go um, yeah sit back and just do this and yeah so um, I'll talk to you another time bye for now